What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Road to the Knockout to the Dow card to review a player that is looking extremely, extremely nice all rounded. He's got 75 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 shooting, 85 defending, 83 passing with the 86 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 11 player, so that reaching that midfield isn't actually too bad. He's got high, high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. I believe the last time we used a Vidal, it was his foot birthday, I think it was. And I believe it had 5 star skill moves, so... You know, him dropping all the way down to 3-star. It's not the nicest thing, but it is what it is. I picked him up for 118k. That's actually not too bad of a pricing, especially for a player that's got those kind of stats. Like, look at it. He's very nice all-rounded. He can do pretty much everything that you expect him to do in that midfield. So, he has got a Shadow Chem style applied on him. I believe the Shadow Chem style is just simply the way to go. Like, yeah, you could boost the strength if you really want to with an Anger Chem style. But I feel like if you give this guy the 86 acceleration and the 85 five sprint speed his transition speed is about to be pinpoint in game so for me the shadow chem style is the way to go now his shooting ability very nice especially knowing how good finesse shots are this year i don't mind looking at a center mid that can shoot a ball he's got 81 attacking positioning 78 finishing 87 shot power 84 long shots 81 volleys with the 84 penalties as well now passing ability also looking good. And the thing is, right, he has got a four-star weak foot. This year, passing with a three-star weak foot, it's okay, but you definitely notice some occasions where a little, you know, it goes a little bit too far to the side, let's say. So the fact that he has got that four-star weak foot and those kind of passings that, you can already tell he's going to be pinging the ball from one side of the pitch all the way to the other. Now, his dribbling ability looking pretty good on the ball as well. He's got 84 agility, 80 balance, 84 reactions, 86 ball control, 79 dribbling with the 83 composure as well. I'm not expecting him to feel anything crazy on the ball, but I'm expecting him to feel pretty good on the ball. Now, he's defensive stat this is where it gets a little bit tasty let's say because 95 interceptions is absolutely insane he's got 89 heading accuracy 88 defensive awareness 87 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well you best believe Vidal is going to be a defensive beast now moving on to the physicals he has got 86 jumping 82 stamina 84 strength with a 96 aggression as well now usually for players that hasn't got an extreme amount of pace and that has an extreme amount of aggression, usually the aggression comes into play and actually makes them feel faster when going out to a player. So that is what I'm expecting Vidal to actually do today. Now, when it comes down to the links, so he's, Ch he's from Chile, right? So the nationality isn't amazing for links in this game, but he comes from Inter Milan, which is obviously in the Serie A. So the links aren't too bad. You can link him up with like a Dumfries, a Pedro, or even a Mananas, and pretty much anyone from the Serie A as well. So the links isn't crazy, but it's pretty okay. So when it comes down to the positions, I'm going to be playing him in a centre mid and CDM position in a 4-4-2 formation and a 4-2-3-1 formation. So let's see how good this Vidal card really is. Go forward here. Sh okay. That's against Renato Sanchez as well. Renato Sanchez in this game, by the way, not a bad centre mid. Vidal, though, feeling pretty decent on the ball. I am noticing that it feels a little bit, little bit heavy. But for a centre mid, it's definitely doable. He's going to cut back. He isn't. He's just going to go forward. And Vidal is not going to allow that to happen. Back into the middle, maybe. Oh, we miss out on that interception slightly. Can we recover? Yes, we can. No way, referee. How is that? How is that a foul? Sure, like, what are you doing, ref? What are you doing? There's actually a wide open person all the way to the other side. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to just trust in Vidal's passing ability. It was a very, very good pass. No doubt about that. But it's Pedro. I doubt Pedro is really going to win a header, especially over Theo Hernandez. Just pass it down here. I see a, a wide opportunity all the way to the other side. Even with the weaker foot, it's going to be perfect. I haven't got stay back while attacking on Vidal. And you can just see right now, I'm playing him in a centre position. And look at where he's actually placed. Like, he is going forward a decent amount. But when he does realise... Oh my god, Lopez actually saves that. But as I was saying, when he does realise he's not going to get played the ball, let's say, he does drop back a little bit. Oh, yeah, that into the middle. That's nice. Give it to Vidal. It's going to be very far out, but we've greened it. And Lopez is going to catch it. I wasn't really expecting that one to go in, to be fair. It was like from like, what, 34 yards out, probably. If that went in, I would have gone crazy. 
Should I step up here? I feel like he's going to pass it. Oh, we could have read that way, way better. But we eventually do. I like how he instantly just pretty much turned and just went straight into the passing lane. There you go. He's already making that little cheeky run into the middle. You might as well give him the ball, right? See if we can go for a green. It's a yellow. I didn't even green that. And look how close that actually was. He's going to want to pass up. I need to cut this passing lane. Did you see the transition speed, by the way? It was terrible for me when it comes down to, like, marking. But because of how quick his transition speed actually was, he recovered really quickly. Take a touch there, pass it back up, and then just hoof it all the way to the other side. And it's not going to be that great of a pass. That's what I mean. I feel like those kind of passes is definitely something he's going to struggle with. Because, yes, his long passing is good. It's just it's no, like, Bruno Fernandes kind of type. He's going to pass down, isn't he? I'm trying to switch to the Vidal. Maybe get out to him there. That's a good interception. And we eventually come out with a ball. I thought FIFA 22 was going to do what FIFA 22 does. And the ball was just going to bounce everywhere. Go on, Vidal. Go sprinting for a little bit. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hold up a second. Ball roll. Wait for it. Roulette. Roulette again. No, it wasn't exactly great defending for my opponent, I must admit, but we went on a decent run with Adele. It's cut back. Is he going to go all the way back? He is well played. Just, oh, one dribble there. Just switch the ball with a wide pass and it's going to be perfect. He's going to pass down. Is he going to give it straight to the striker? No, he is not. He's going to give it up and we read it like an absolute book. He's going to go all the way up maybe. Or is he going to pass through the gap? He is going to pass through the gap. Adele not having the greatest of interception reaches. He actually, oh, thank God. He actually manages to miss out on an interception, which is, I feel like, kind of terrible there. But he did recover with the tackle. There's a massive gap through that middle. Vidal covered it really quickly, and then he goes over and tackles KDB as well. I'm telling you, man, the pace in that middle with that Shadow Chem style is no joke. He swung that in. Vidal, just chest touch it. There you go. Use that strength as well to hold off that player from stopping from getting there oh my god he's actually dropped someone as well we gave it to Dembele can we score off this hold up a second I see Mbappe through the middle and uh yeah it wasn't the greatest cross I kind of want to double team that but I reckon he's gonna pass it off there you go Vidal does intercept it but then he slightly lost the ball to Phil Foden there fake shot this Pedro he's gonna make that dummy run go forward one two send him in behind Cut into the inside. This is our opportunity. Green timed as well. There you go. There is the long shot we have been looking for. I kind of want to go with a slide tackle for him. I'm going to go for it. There you go. It wasn't the cleanest of slide tackles, I must admit. But you have to keep in mind, he has got those 99 slide tackles. So they are going to be good. And I've just passed the ball out of the pitch. Nice. We're going to pass it here. Make him run onto it. Take a touch. Turn. Beauty of a turn. We green time the finesse shot and it goes straight into the corner. He hasn't got anything outrageous when it comes down to his long shots, but he can clearly do them. He's going to turn, isn't he? He's going to turn. We're going to keep pressure on him. Make sure we're keeping that press and then we eventually come out with a ball. So it is time to review and we ended up playing five games with Adele and we ended up getting ourselves two goals. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like we didn't take a, an outrageous amount of long shots because we definitely did, but... We got what we wanted. It's simple as that. Now, that was a really nice box to box sentiment. The amount of passing options he gave me going forward is superb. And the fact that I can just obviously turn on to his right foot and just go for a crazy long shot is always going to be nice to have as a midfielder, right? But the thing is, he doesn't just help me out going forward. He helps me out massively on defense. The way he was getting out to players was superb. The way he transitioned over was amazing. The way he was putting in the tackles, the interceptions, and even the aggression as well. I did notice that a good good amount it was top tier so for a hundred thousand coins which is what he's going for now i personally believe it's worth it but you have to keep in mind inter milan right now aren't exactly doing great in the champions league they drew a game and they've lost the game and guess who's top sheriff yeah the club no one thought was gonna get out of the group stage is top of the group with six points winning against real madrid yeah real madrid is also in that group as well so it's a little bit of a gamble, I must admit. I personally don't believe Inter Milan will win their three out of their next four games. And I don't think they will actually get out of the group stage. So if you're just keep in mind, if you're spending 100k on this card, you're most likely spending it on an 85 rated Vidal and not like an 87 rated Vidal. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace wise, 
it was good. It definitely was. Running with the ball, he felt fast. Getting out to the player, he felt fast. So for the pace, I would give him like an 8.5 out of 10. Shooting ability, as I said, man, we had a good amount of long shots. And the fact that only two went in, one is kind of disappointing, but two, they obviously did a patch the other day, or even yesterday, let's say, which obviously fixed the finesse shots by a decent, decent amount. So for the shooting, I am going to go ahead and give him like an 8.2 out of 10. Passing ability. The passing wasn't anything outrageous. We're not talking about like a Bruno Fernandes kind of pass where he can literally grab the ball from the midfield and just swing it all the way to the other side and it will land on the player perfectly. No, Vidal was a player that could do that kind of pass, but it wouldn't be exactly the most accurate thing, let's say. So for the passing, I would say an 8.4 out of 10. Dribbling ability. He felt pretty good on the ball, but he didn't feel amazing on the ball. So dribbling, I would say like an 8.2 out of 10. The defending ability, this is where the rating is going to go way, way higher because I love this guy's defending ability. The defensive awareness, he positioned himself perfectly in every single every single counter-attack that my, my opponent actually did, let's say. And the tackling as well was superb. The slide tackling was also very nice. So for defending, I would honestly say... I would say like a 8.9 out of 10. I don't want to go too high. The reason I don't is because I did notice there were some occasions where he did miss out on an interception because he is not like a six foot plus player. If this guy was like six foot one, let's say, that reach in that midfield would have been outrageous. But because he's five foot 11, which is still a good height, it's just I did notice he missed out on some interceptions. So yeah, I would say an 8.9 out of 10 for defending. And for the physicals, he used his strength a good amount. But the one thing, I definitely did notice was the aggression. Oh my God, man. The way he's fighting back for the ball if he lost it. The way he's getting out to the player literally instantly being very aggressive, trying to get into their personal space and come out with a ball. It was top tier. So for the physicals, I would say an 8 point... I'll give him an 8.7. An 8.7 out of 10 for physicals when it comes down to the road to the knockout, Vidal. But an overall rating out of 10. He's a very nice all-rounded card. He gives me a lot of things in that midfield as well. I would honestly say an 8.5 out of 10. I feel like that is perfect. I don't feel like he deserves any higher than that because there isn't cr some crazy stuff about this card. Let's say like the dribbling ability could have been way better. We all know it could have been. The passing ability could have been way, way better as well. So I feel like 8.5 out of 10 as an overall rating is perfect. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.